Happy New Year! If you are listening to this after the New Year, or maybe you're binge listening to them a couple weeks from now, whatever it may be, I just wanted to welcome you to 2024, because with a new year, there are always new things we want to tackle. And for homeowners, there are things that you can stop doing when it comes to sell your home. Now, I wanted to tell you to stop doing this one thing, but I really can't stop with just one. So, I will share at least two things you can stop doing when it comes time to sell your home. Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. Hello and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha McDaniel and like I said, Happy New Year. Um, It's been a great 2023, now looking for 2024 Um, and things are going to look a little bit different with, you know, housing is just going to be more different than last year. Things aren't going to be as quick to sell. Um, Just one of the things I keep seeing with the forecast from real estate agents and things like that. So um, now will probably be the time if you're thinking about selling your home, you may be thinking, well, what can I do to stand out? What can I, you know, do to help my house get sold faster and for more money, right? That's the big thing. A lot of you want to make sure you get the money that you put into your house to get it all back, right? So that's why I wanted to kind of help you a little bit with stop doing this one thing. Cause I've told all my clients to stop doing this. Now I was going to say one thing. But if you know me, I just can't stop with one. I'm going to tell you more. (laughs) So that's what this episode is about is what I'm telling my clients is to stop doing this. And the first one is to stop leaving family photos up or nude artwork. Okay. Yeah. I've seen nude artwork in people's houses and like, but that's art. I know it is, but we got to take into consideration who's going to be walking through the home. So that's um, one of the things that you want to do is stop doing is stop leaving family photos up, okay? Because they do two things to your home that you don't want people to notice. Number one, they clutter up the walls or sofa tables or wherever you have them on nightstands, on dressers or whatever it is. A lot of you, especially the older, you know, if you have grand, if you're the grandparents and you have pictures of your grandkids, they are everywhere. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, (laughs) um, and I know God love them. Yes, you love them. I get that. But when it comes time to sell your house, the second reason it's too personal and we need to depersonalize the home. Okay. We want the buyers to envision themselves in the house and they can't do that when you have pictures of yourselves, the grandkids, wedding photos, whatever, everywhere, okay? So start removing them now because it's the easiest thing you can do now to help sell your home faster, okay? So stop leaving family photos up, okay? Stop thinking, okay, well, but they they look so nice, their wedding photos, yes, take them down, just take them down, start. And it's going to look empty. I know it is. <laughs> Believe me. Because if I know how many photos you have, they're probably like in the dining room. Like I said, maybe in the foyer entrance, on a sofa table in the living room. They're probably in the bedroom. Yeah, you need to walk room by room and just start collecting them. Yeah, I know it's probably going to be hard. You're going to be going, but but I want to see them. Oh, and you will. You will definitely see them. It's not like you're throwing them out. You're not doing that. You're just putting them away. Start packing them up, grab a box and start putting those things away. Okay. So you need to start taking those down. There's probably too many on the walls, um, which is like I said, they just clutter up the walls and they, they need to, there need to be less. Okay. Less is more when it comes time to staging a home. Okay. So, um, that's the first thing, right? So that's part of the family photos, right? But if you don't have anything on your walls, you need to have something, okay? Now, I've seen houses also where they're like, well, I didn't have time to do it or I don't know what to put up. Well, guess what? I have a free ebook that you can download on how to decorate your walls like an adult. That's what I'm calling it. I know. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. How to decorate your walls like an adult. I'll leave the link in the show notes. 
Lots of times, like I said, homeowners don't know how to correctly hang artwork. Sometimes it's up too high. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's too low. It's too cramped. They're too far apart. In this ebook, I share tips and tricks and how to best hang up your artwork and places where you can find quote unquote adult looking decor. Not the posters that you had from college. Not, you know, anything like, you know, just other things. There's lots of examples in this ebook that you can see. I even list places, like I said, where you can find adult looking decor. All right. So take a look. If that's something that you need help with, I'll leave the link in the show notes. That way you can get your hands on this free ebook with the tips and tricks and how to best hang up your artwork. Okay. All right. And like I said, I can't just say just one thing. So one thing, another thing I need you to stop doing is stop repainting your dining room walls red or yellow. Okay. They should not be, there should not be any wall in the house red or multicolored. Um, Red is the worst color you can paint a room when it comes time to sell. Okay. When you live in it, that's fine because you're going to be living in it. But when it comes time to sell, red is a really difficult color to take a picture of um, because it's hard to capture the actual redness that comes that you want to come out. It'll look different in the photos. No matter how hard the photographer tries with the lighting and everything, it just doesn't look right. Sometimes it looks kind of purplish, mauve, uh, just no. And they really need to be neutral in color so that any other color in that room can go with it, Okay. Now, if you need help picking out wall colors, I also have another freebie called the four best living room wall colors. Now, I use these colors for living rooms because now, but nowadays dining rooms and living rooms almost melt into each other and they might as as well be one room, right? You don't need to distinguish each room with a different wall color, especially if you have an open floor plan, even if you have like a partial wall or something like that you know when you take pictures that this is a separate room. You can easily separate them by adding a a rug, you know, underneath the dining room table if you have one, or a rug underneath the living room set. You know, they kind of group, it kind of helps group things together, right? Um, Or use furniture to kind of separate and show off the space. So you don't need to worry about distinguishing the spaces because you can tell by the furniture how that room is being used, okay? Now, the photos online will be next to each other on the screen. And the other reason why you don't want to, you know, repaint your rooms because you're thinking, oh, I just need to repaint it, refresh it. I'll just use the same color. Please don't. Please find a neutral wall color. If you need to, you know, download my freebie, the four best living room colors in there. Um, you don't want to show multicolored rooms next to each other on the computer screen when people are looking at houses because here's what the, the fact that they're going to have. They're going to see one picture beige, another picture red, another picture yellow, another blue, another purple. You get the idea. We got the we got a multicolored circus color going here. Okay, we don't want that effect on the house, on the pictures when your buyers are looking at your photos online. Okay, so please, please, please stop repainting your dining room walls red or yellow. Those are the two main ones. There are other ones that, you know, okay, you can, you know, live with the other ones, but red is just really bad. So please, please, please do not. If I can foot stomp this one, I would. Um, I've had two clients before I showed up, just repainted the walls and I'm like, and they were red. It was a mauve kind of color. It wasn't even red. It was kind of a mauve-y, purplish red I'm like, okay, well, we'll try. And at that point, then the stager has a harder time working with whatever's left in the room to kind of um, deflect and try to not let people notice the red and not let the red stand out as much. So we got got our work cut out for us, right? Um, So that's why, please, 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 if you can help a home stager out before they show up, please don't repaint a room red, okay? All right, Um, so... If you are selling your house soon, you now know two things that you can stop doing or, or do correctly, right? If you're hanging up artwork, you now know how if you get my freebie, right? Or if you are wanting to repaint something, please don't paint it red or yellow, all right? There are links in the show notes um, that will get you started in the right direction. And if you're ready to get your house ready for the real estate market without guessing what else to do, um, you can 
you know, let me know. I have a website, bluediamondstaginganddesign.com. And you can, you know, send me a link, email me, right? You know, I have my email out there. And I also have my phone number on my website. So call me, email me. And on a call, when we talk, I'll create a, you know, a strategy to get your house ready to sell. And I'll share some ways that we can work together, you know, to help you move along and get your house ready to sell faster and for top dollar. Okay. So please, please, please stop doing those two things. The pictures and the paint. All right. And there's always going to be more, I know, but I'm going to limit myself to those, those two things. All right. So help yourself to those freebies that I mentioned in the podcast here. And that way you can get started on getting your house ready to sell. We'll talk to you later. Have a great week.